once upon a time, many, many years ago, in a land far, far away, I watched my very, very first horror movie. You know, when the Soviet Union collapsed and the Iron Curtain magically disappeared overnight, we got exposed to a lot of new things. Books we had been longing to read, music we were finally able to listen to openly, and movies, different movies. And actually, I didn't know about the existence of some of them. My friend got excited about horror movies. I didn't, but I didn't mind keeping them company. Even though I usually would sit under the chair, <laughs> covering my eyes and ears for the whole time. But I would watch the beginning when the very first portion of suspense was building up. You know that, right? A girl lives in an empty, large house in the middle of nowhere. It's dark. And then he hears this eldritch sound, a very, very, very scary sound. What does she do? She doesn't turn on the light. She doesn't lock the door. She doesn't grab the baseball bat. <laughs> she goes up in her pitches <laughs> into the woods and asks, who is there? <laughs> It will eat her and bite her, and all, after he's bitten and eaten, he will bite and eat everybody else. But I don't see it anymore because I'm sitting under the chair by that time. <laughs> well, it was unbelievable to me. These people must be so brave. This is what I thought in little I knew. I think this is when the mystery of Halloween started for me. You see, I couldn't grasp <laughs> this idea of deliberate spookiness everybody loves. I appreciate fancy costumes. I adore kids. And I always like some candy leftovers, but skeletons. Spiders, tombs in front yards. Sorry. I didn't get it until the last week. I got the revelation. I heard a story, I'm sorry, a story from a friend of mine. His name is John. John told us about a Halloween tradition they had when he was a little boy. So it was many years ago in this land, and I think it was in Pennsylvania, but don't take my word for it. They had some traditions which are very similar to local ones, but there was one I have never heard about. They would throw corn kernels into the windows of neighbors and spill these kernels on porches. Have you heard about it? I actually found the sound of it. I was going to imitate to you, but I didn't have enough time to practice. Let me play it. I think it's rather eldritch. I think it can be scarier, right? In the middle of the night. And this is when I realized, when I heard about this corn character, that in Ukraine, we have our own Halloween. I just didn't understand it until then. It doesn't, it's not called Halloween, even though this will also believe this is time when departed, visit us again and need to be treated to good food, a sweet one usually. It doesn't happen during the autumn season. It happens the day before Christmas. So it's some sort of a hybrid between Halloween and Christmas Eve. When people would dress up 
in Eldridge costumes. Actually, original ones, they're supposed to be here on goat skins and skull of cattle with horns. They would go from house to house seeking what's called kalatki. This is not like carols, because this is more like tricks. People are asking and begging for food and tricks. They would scare each other. There would be villains, vampires, and devils. Actually, I think Ukrainian chur is more like the, their teufel in Germany than an English devil. But still, some scary, spooky, eldritch stuff. And they would spill corn and wheat to wish the neighbors a good harvest the next year. Apparently, they're not that different. We all humans like to be scared on purpose in a controlled environment, no surprises. And after all, what I realized is that I do live in a large house, not in the middle of nowhere, but facing hills and forests. And sometimes my house is dark and quiet when my dog doesn't bark. And sometimes when it is dark and quiet, I hear some spooky sounds outside and I didn't lock the door and I doesn't lock the door and doesn't turn on the lights and I have no baseball bat. So I just go out to check who is there and enjoy the fresh air and the sky, this is the stars. Apparently I am getting local <laughs> with one little exception. I still have a lot of work to do to find out what the baseball is about. <laughs> <laughs>